Johnsonese is a term used to describe a style of writing that is pedantic, learned, and figurative. This style, characterized by elaborate and complex expressions, became prominent in English literature due to classical influences. However, it reached its peak during the time of Dr. Samuel Johnson, and thus, it is referred to as Johnsonese after him. An example of Johnsonese is seen in a sentence written by Dr. Johnson himself. He was starved to death, expressed in a more elaborate manner as he sank into inanition from nonentity. In simpler terms, Johnsonese involves expressing a simple idea in a complex and riddling manner. The influence of Johnsonese can be observed in the writing of figures like Macaulay, who wrote in a similar figurative style. For instance, Macaulay's sentence Sir Isaac Newton is the developer of the skies in their embodiment movement can be simplified to Sir Isaac Newton is the inventor of the theory of gravitation. While Johnsonese adds a poetic quality to language, it is not easily understood by common readers. In the 19th century, there was a backlash against Johnsonese, with writers like Charles Lamb and Hazlitt advocating for simplicity and natural expression. Nevertheless, the impact of Johnsonese continues to linger in literature, especially in the works of pedantic writers today. Contrary to a common misconception, it is inaccurate to assert that Johnson extensively infused Latin elements into his language, both in style and vocabulary. The reality is that he frequently patterned his prose after the writings of his preferred 17th century authors, like Sir Thomas Brown. During an era marked by scholarly pursuits, these writers employed numerous Latin-derived words that have since faded from everyday use. They aimed for balance and rhythm in their English by incorporating Latin prose style and the resonant quality of carefully chosen Latinate words. Johnson followed suit, sometimes with an inclination for exaggeration in his earlier works. However, he rarely coined new words from Latin and made minimal contributions to the English lexicon. Despite this, he held unparalleled influence as a language critic, a preeminent lexicographer, and a pioneer in shaping prose styles for his contemporaries. The linguistic style, characterized by the use of intellectual words and phrases, gained prominence in the 18th century. Some instances of Johnsonese words include phenomenon, diphtheria, intellectual, latitudinarian, parricide, among others. In the 19th century, a notable backlash emerged against Johnsonese, with writers favoring simpler Saxon words. Critics argued that while Johnsonese added impressive and impactful words to the English dictionary, it also burdened the straightforward prose style championed by Joseph Addison, making it unwieldy and distant from common idioms. It is worth noting that Johnson, the progenitor of this style, eventually recognized the need for moderation. In the later stages of his life, he transitioned towards using fewer Latin and more English words in his writings. This maturation of Johnson's style resulted in a second phase characterized by simplicity, clarity, conversational charm, and intimacy, departing from the earlier offensive tone.